Hey, howdy y'all, Cope T.O. here. Uh, just gonna give my my review of Apple TV's Foundation series. I uh, just started watching it. Just finished with episode one, wanted to get my thoughts down. Oh my goodness, yes, <laughs> yes. This is what I have wanted for this series, for pretty much all of Asimov's work, for as long as I can remember. It has been what, 1940, so 70 years since he started the Foundation series, or at least started publishing it. And now Apple has given it the time, they've given it the money, they've given it the effort. They have actually put serious work into the show, and it it has gotten me as a fan. If you have any, any thoughts, hopes, or ideas about science fiction... I recommend this for you. Is it as hard sci-fi as as things that have that this show that this book series has inspired has is going to be? No, it's not even going to take the time to explain the hard science to you. You're just going to have to go along for this ride, and it is again. It it just looks gorgeous. You can tell that they put the time and energy into this. I don't know how many episodes there are this season. I'll look into that later, but right now, episodes one through three are definitely must view. I'm I'm burning through it as soon as I get a chance here today. Oh, but after episode one, I, I am just thoroughly impressed. I like the look of the, the Imperial Guard. I like the look of the Empire. The world itself is just amazing. And then you still, with, with all of this all of this galaxy that spans 10,000 worlds, you're still breaking it down to walking down the hallway, having intimate conversations between two or three people, not making a giant spectacle of it, but when they do make it a spectacle, oh my goodness, they go, oh, they go hard. <laughs> and I love all of it. I'm here for it. Count me in. Uh, as, long as, as long as they can make this show last, I will watch it. I am not in the least bit going to sit there and nitpick uh, their interpretation of it or whatever they had to do to get it into live action. We're talking about a book series that took decades itself to write. I can't, I can't imagine trying to compress all of that into any kind of series, but they have done an amazing job. I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, I really hope that Apple TV keeps this going for as long as possible. Or if they can't, give it to somebody who can. Give it to give it to Amazon. Give it to Hulu. Give it to whoever they have to. But please let them continue at this level. Big fan. They're definitely. It's definitely worth a subscription. It's really the only thing I really wanted to watch on Apple TV anyway. Um, but I am thoroughly enjoying myself. Uh, for those of you who do not know, this is Isaac Asimov's, like I said, it is seminal science fiction. If you have not heard about the Foundation, don't worry about reading all the books if you want to get into this show. They're doing a good job of walking you through not just not just the, the psycho history, but they're walking you through this entire galaxy right now. And I love how they did it. They they took the time and pulled the taffy in episode one. It was, what, 25 minutes in before they even uttered the word psychohistory? Oh, the rest of that time previous was just world building, or actually worlds building, because they, they started off in the, some backwater planet, and then they come to the main home world of the Empire, and then... They, they, oh my goodness, they, I don't want to spoil it all. I highly recommend it. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the Foundation novels have been uh, just incredible, and it, I'm so happy to see them come to life now. Uh, I know that there have been trilogies done by other authors, but if, please, if, if anything else, do yourself a favor and get... Get and read the Isaac Asimov's tr uh, books. Anything that he wrote himself, please go ahead and, and read those. You will not be disappointed. Yes, they're chunky, but 
for what he's trying to do and what he's trying to build, or not trying, that man built everything. And every science fiction thing you've ever heard of that has come after it has cribbed from this, has bitten off of him, and it is just so impressive to see the the original come to life in this way. That's, oh my goodness. It, these are the characters I've had in my head since the 1980s, and to see them in live action, and to know that, you know, Asimov, along with like Frank Herbert, along with uh, Tolkien, the 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 founding fathers of of modern literature, are getting their works put into them into screen, into the movies, into TV. I love all of it. I'm here for every last bit of it. I wish every every property, every IP was taken seriously enough and provided with enough resources to tell the story and give it justice. Again, I've only seen episode one. I'm going to be watching episodes two and three later on today. But I i am thoroughly here endorsing everything that Apple TV has done in episode one. I don't know what they're going to do with casting. I'm not worried about any of it. If they have this level of acting quality, the, the dialogue's obviously there. They can go for, for however many episodes or shows if they want to. I I am loving it. I am here for it. Oh, forward the foundation. Get Apple TV. Get on watching this show. You will not be disappointed. All right. Thank you all. I'm going to go now because episode two is coming. Episode three after that. Like, share, subscribe, all of that. Watch it. Watch it. You will not be disappointed. Forward the foundation.